Hey, hey, people, Seth here. Welcome to a little game I got gifted a couple months prior. I'll be real, I don't pay for games. I just put on my LED cat ear headset and get everybody to be my Discord daddy. This is the best investment in 2022. This doesn't just pay you dividends. It pays you salaries, other people's salaries. Disclaimer, I am in no way affiliated with the Chinese tar factories that make these. That would be lame. On the other hand, if you a Latin American or Middle Eastern militia looking to expand your services, hit me up. 45 second integration doesn't sound like much, but I assure you, that's a lot of stolen AMV footage that I can crossfade into footage of your men wearing turbans. I can also do a full dedicated video where I can quickly summarize the fine points of your proposed benevolent regime, namely the peaceful transition of power. I got given this by a dude who originally I assumed to be deaf until one day he said he wanted to VC and I said, no, no, you can't. Your kind doesn't have that capability. Well, now I feel stupid and he thinks I'm racist. Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator is a glimpse into the future where nothing is yours and everything is a commodity, including yourself. That's the joke. It's actually right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the former patriarch of a Rothschild family who received nine heart transplants during his life really cared to make sure that every single one of them were ethically sourced from the nearest Malaysian child. So what's the difference? The difference is that in this game, I can publicly list a little boy's heart on the stock exchange so that we can speculate against the value of little Joey's heart. It is a unique perishable good, which is already hedged against hyperinflation, owing to the fact that there's only one. To begin, you have to start the game. To begin the game, you have to click start inside the game. After picking a persona, you begin. As stated by the intro, you're above the morality of anybody else. Everybody has them, everybody needs them, and everybody wants them. Organs. Which means they need you. You're an organ trader, and this is your universe. Everybody else just lives in it. But you're still at the mercy of someone else. You're not free, you're indentured. Everything you've been given is borrowed. And if you don't play nice and give your handler what he wants, he's going to remind you that everything ever given can be taken away one piece at a time. What's it called when you ask for something? Suggestion. What's it called when you ask for something while pointing a gun at their head? Persuasion. Mentor is going to repeatedly persuade you to choose life over death by forcing you to take non-negotiable contracts which by their very nature are designed to make you broke. This is the equivalent of going to a jewelry store with an invoice for one dollar in exchange for everything inside. But we'll deal with him later. You begin the game and you'll notice it's very calm and quiet because that's not the game. When you push that red button, the market opens up for exactly two minutes. In that time, you gotta go fast and you gotta go hard. 120 seconds of pure stress, that's the game. But this is only the start. Early on, contracts are your bread and butter. You take them, you fulfill their requirements, and you get paid. With payment comes money. With reliability comes reputation. With reputation comes problems. Because the bigger you get, the more they start to notice. Namely, everyone else. They're smarter and faster than you. They're unpredictable, bipolar, and obsessed. But most of all, they're richer than you. Imagine a teenage girl whose bloodstream is nothing but cocaine and benzos, armed with a single corporate credit card which has an overdraft of 700 trillion. This is your competition. Good luck. If you're too slow, they're going to take it. If you're too fast, you'll buy the wrong piece because they bought something a millisecond earlier, shifting the position of each item. If they need it, they'll take it. If you need it, they'll take it anyway, just to spite you. So how are you meant to survive? At the start, you get offered a little training course on high-speed organ trading. I sincerely recommend you take this. Is there a reward at the end? A little tangible reward for my simplified Kumar erectus brain? No, you learn how to read barcodes. Every organ on the exchange has a serial number. This tells you everything about the organ in the shortest span of time. I'll break this down block by block. Organ code, size, condition, blood type, rarity, and special properties. Why do these matter? Because as you get more reputation, your clients get more demanding. It's no longer a stomach. It's a large stomach. It's no longer any pair of lungs. It's a pair with the same AB negative blood type. And I will not settle for a shitty thyroid. Get me one. That's absolutely perfect, pristine. Get me that one in a million mythical thyroid that shoots out thyroxine so fast, you're gonna live at like two times playback speed until your heart explodes. Not like I care, I got a replacement waiting. 
It's inside somebody else. Now that you can read, you can trade real fast. It's a market as diverse as your clientele. Contracts include, but not limited to, medical supplies, ship repair, warlord training. I saw some fucked up shit and popped my eyes. I need a replacement. I am currently depressed. I need a new brain. My favorite VTuber told me to get in on this pump and dump. I can't lose. Would you be interested in resurrecting a dead god and ending life in this universe as we know it? Please let me know. I can't pay very much. Um, necromancy work is not unionized. Uh, it's been a subject of union busting for years now. Your options are plentiful. Now, we have to talk about the soundtrack because it's the best soundtrack I've ever heard. Because it's not just a soundtrack. It's layered like a cake. Every single track is layered by the menu you're currently on. So, in the process of high-speed organ transfer, you automatically create a melody just by trading. Due to the nature of a soundtrack, it doesn't actually exist, but the guy who made it remixed the whole thing into an experimental companion soundtrack. I first recommend you play the game and then give it a listen. I don't have a fitting modern word for this, so I asked everybody younger for an appropriate expression I could use to convey my enthusiasm for the music. Here goes. It's bussin'. I really like it. I'll put a link in the description below. Later on, you get access to organ stocks. Because, really, why even buy organs when you can simply speculate? It's a perfect simulation of stock investment. Because markets don't make sense. There are no rules to the organ exchange. But there is one principle, which I've taken directly from Rothschild himself. Be greedy when others are cautious. Be cautious when others are greedy. To put it simply, everything look a little too good? Sell that shit, homie. Market correction is coming. And once it does, buy the dip and repeat until you become a multi-millionaire. And then, just like me, you're gonna be fined several times in a row on fraudulent charges by corrupt officials and lose the game. I'm not even joking. Blink twice and it's game over. That's how quickly it all goes. That's the ADHD experience of life every day. Wake up, scream, and die. Except here it's a lot more dramatic and I'm currently competing for kidneys with my arch nemesis, who is, of course, a dog. So, I don't really know where to take this metaphor. Eventually, you're also gonna get a better cargo hold. You'll figure this out on your own, but essentially, organs interact with other organs. Your cargo hold is alive. It's an inverted body you can graft organs to. I see nothing wrong about this. So, instead of relying exclusively on contracts, you could also buy a high-value organ like an appendix or a pharaoh gut in very poor condition for very little little money, strap them to a bunch of healthy hearts, pump them full of blood, and flip the newly rejuvenated meat for massive profit. Finally, some contracts are special. You'll recognize them by the border. Pursuing them leads to different endings. Remember our handler? Well, eventually, someone takes notice and offers to take the toxicity out of your relationship by luring Mentor out into the open and turning him into a flesh painting that cannot die. That's a good ending, by the way. One of the bad endings is when you actually actually try to help. I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but here's a hint. One of the tracks in this game is called A Galaxy of Children Who've Only Seen Red. There's a bunch of endings, and I think there's 10 in total. The current copy might have less, but I'm playing an early test build because I have a profound relationship with a lord, or because I talk to the developer. The lord, he simply watches as I trip myself repeatedly and blame everybody else. P.S. If you're slow and decrepit and past your prime, which for a man is about 14 years of age, there is an accessibility option to make the game slower. Now, if he only added hotkeys for accepting, fulfilling, and deleting contracts, my life would still be painful, but slightly easier. I actually talked to him about this, and unfortunately, it can't be done that easily. Just like Super Mario 64 was originally going to release with pregnancy mode enabled, at the end of the day, it's a limitation of the engine. Final score. I give Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator an impractical out of 10. I love this game, but classic organ transplantation will never be a viable method of long-term organ replacement. I'm sorry, but that's an immunological reaction and tissue from anyone else unless they're an identical twin will eventually result in tissue rejection. Yes, I'm aware we can take immunosuppressants so we can kill them with a tumor instead. The only real way forward is understanding stem cell differentiation to grow your own tissue that will not be rejected. Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator. There's a reason I like it so much. Because it's the perfect human duality. You get what you give. You sell pieces of everybody else. But the taller you stand, the harder you fall. And one day, 
It's all gonna come crashing down. You're gonna lose your money, you're gonna lose your life, and when you're dead, they're gonna chop you up and sell your pieces. Because in this case, the sum of the parts really is greater than the whole. Ultimately, the organ trader really is selling one thing himself. It's a nice little game. It's not too long, but that's really a matter of perspective. You don't know how short your life is. I thoroughly recommend it. Oh yeah, by the way, you can mod this game. I messed around and it's pretty easy to add new organs. Ironically, the first organ I added is usually the first to be taken away. Where can I buy this game? Everywhere. It's on every platform, on every store, except the Chinese store. Hopefully, by the time this comes out, there's a discount on Steam. Of course, you can also get a 100% discount. Depending on your life circumstance, I even recommend it. And we both know exactly what I'm talking about. Hello guys. Robbing an ATM at 2 in the morning.